Hi and welcome back to Dev Explaining channel. Let's crawl today. So I wanted to do a short video on how to do a Python crawler to crawl a website and get some information from there. I sometimes do these videos also for future me because I tend to forget things. So now I have a recording of up to date 2021 uh, how to crawl with Python. And uh, let's get started. So you know me, I like to use force multipliers. Scrappy is an awesome Python library um, that allows you to do exactly that. So, so you are able to scrape uh, things from a website. Uh, the documentation here is a bit heavyweight. Uh, we quite rapidly go to a Scrappy command line tool, however. So at the end of the video, I'm going to show you a few tricks, how to control logging, how to run the Scrappy from Python code, and how to gather the results so that you can do something else with them as well, instead of just immediately like putting them to a file. Okay, so if this is interesting for you, stay tuned, please. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is grab this Python code and get it in my editor. Let's go there. So I have a pi file here and uh, I'm just going to copy paste the code. Uh, two other things we need to grab from the uh, Hello World tutorial. Well, just a second. Well, we need to install Scrappy. So let's do this one pip install scrappy. I already have it set up in my virtual environment, but just wanted to show it to you. And finally, uh, to run the bot, something like this. However, in my case, the file name is uh, obviously a bit different, so I'm going to edit it uh, slightly. So this is crawl pi. So scrappy run spider crawl pi and it's crawling the default website and uh, <laughs> they are probably getting a lot of traffic when people are running this hello world because every time every time this blog gets hit so kind of interesting um, so that was the uh, easy part how to just get a um, force multiplier kind of library that makes you clever uh, even if you are not clever yourself so I did that, I grabbed the hello world from the website and that took like a few minutes of time. But now let's go a little bit deeper. So next part, I'm going to apply this to Solita company developer blog, um, because I recently had to actually do this. So I, I wanted to kind of record and share this information. So here is the dev blog. Uh, the address is devsolita.fi. So I'm just going to go to my code and uh, replace the original address with the dev.solita.fi any blog will do but this is most interesting if you have a website with some pagination so the information is spread across multiple pages so then you need to crawl and gather some information okay so let's run the tool again scrappy run spider crawl pi now this time i was able i get a lot of statistics in the end i was able to find um, where is it? Well, actually nothing, because uh, the code here doesn't match my page structure. So this was the beef uh, pretty much of, of this kind of video, uh, how to adapt this Hello World for your website. So how to do that? Um, we start with a URL and we get a response. There's this parse function in the spider that's being used and we get the response from that initial page and then we can do and must do two things. So first structure is go through any interesting parts. You point them using a little bit of CSS uh, query magic. And you gather what you want and, and you yield it. So in this case, we are getting back a little bit of JSON. And second part deals with navigation. So we are getting all links that we want to navigate, to crawl. And as long as this returns any parts we will go deeper and recurse we will we will go back to this parse function and uh, when we are unable to find any new links then it automatically stops so with just a little bit of code you can do powerful things here that's interesting so let's go back to the website structure what i would like to do is gather these titles so i go to the page source code and uh, there, the, the title is inside a hyperlink, but hyperlink is inside H2. So we have H2 heading and class here is post title. Okay, so I go back and I say that 
let's we are interested in post title well any element whose css class is post title and when we find it we yield the contained text as a json with one one element called title so we could obviously expand from here we could uh, walk the css and find other parts like author and date but i already did that so i'm just going to spare you a few minutes of this video you probably get get how that works so i'm i'm just mentioning that's what you could do in my case let's leave it to title only let's crawl again so this time you can see that i managed to get the titles all these are my blog titles okay what we can do with that well stay tuned i'm going to cover that last in this video but let's cover navigation because now i'm only scraping one page so the navigation uh, defines where we can find interesting links so in this case we are looking for links with uh, uh, hyperlink uh, with uh, css class next however that's not the structure of my page so on my page if we go to the bottom we can find navigation part here we do have this next but uh, next is uh, not having much uh, anything to kind of uh, attach to well uh, then we check what's the wrapper so what's around it well we have div class pagination now i have a choice i could say let's grab this div and from there we find uh, hyperlink but there is also other hyperlinks contained so uh, there is actually a lot of these pagination items well, the good news is that Scrappy doesn't mind, so you can just blindly get any matching links you would like, and it's all also going to handle duplicates, so you don't need to be too clever about this. So what I'm going to do is say that, well, I know these, these are inside a div a block uh, with a class pagination, right? And then there's a hyperlink, and I'm happy with all the hyperlinks in this structure. Only trick to avoid here is that if within pagination you would have links that take you outside to outside sites that are not within your website then this might be potentially a bit dangerous even endless recursion might happen but in my case uh, that's not the problem and there are ways to deal with that you can be more specific with your css for example now that i'm running it again you can see that i scraped 233 items so that pretty much matches with a number of blog, blog articles on the site and uh, all of these are scraped so this is the conclusion of part one the basic stuff apply uh, uh, the the scrappy library you just grab the code from website and modify it a bit and you can scrape your own website and now uh, next thing uh, part two we go deeper so how to control logging how to run this from python code let's say aws lambda function for efficiency i'm going to show you these tricks and then finally how to grab the results so we could do something sensible with them i'm actually going to use this in a slack bot eventually so that's my kind of uh, use case so next steps uh, these are not anymore copy paste from scrappy uh, scrappy documentation so about 50 percent is there but there's a lot of stuff so i picked some things that will work and uh, second thing is that uh, i combined with some uh, stack overflow articles so this is kind of unique stuff in that sense but let's let's go there so um, for the first part i want to run my spider and therefore i'm going to do implement a main function here and uh, i'm actually going to already go a bit forward and say results equals spider results so just uh, let's pretend we have this function and then let's create the function def spider results uh, and i can put all the ugly stuff here all the stuff that i need to actually run the engine and uh, i want to have uh, results in a nice uh, kind of array that i can output so something like this will do now again i like to get a fast feedback loop so this is the point where i'm already running my code so what i wanted to do with this is 
to get rid of uh, the kind of uh, command line tool so i want to do the crawling in python obviously it's not yet working so let's add a little bit of code there is a few ways to run the bots in Py pure python and uh, i chose to use this one process equals crawler process so there's a crawler process class and uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm getting error here because we need to import it, and uh, I'm, I'm. I am going to copy paste the imports from my old code, so so that I make them right. But Scrappy Crawler library has this crawler process class, and um, if I create that, then I'm able to say process crawl block spider. So I'm going to say that when I start this, I want to use at least block spider. To do, do the crawling there's all, already all i need and final thing to do is process sorry start and uh, this is going to run the spider it's going to use uh, a twisted reactor uh, it's going to do parallel processing so it's very efficient and fast but i can now start it and control it from the python so that's pretty nice let's do the crawl and same thing happened as before now there's a problem however if i print out results there are no results so we get an empty array so how do i get the end results that i'm yielding here inside this array let's do that next so again copy paste time by the way if you are and wanting to follow my steps and do all these things yourself as i mentioned you can get about 50 percent of the code from the scrappy website you just go there you copy paste and you get up-to-date example modify adjust it for your website now the rest uh sadly i'm not putting this to github or publishing this at least not yet but you can grab this video you can pause the screen right here and uh, it's not very complicated you can easily produce the same things okay so uh, this helper function uh, it's a callback function that i'm able to register like so and uh, i need a few imports to cover this but uh, i'm basically saying that when item is scraped then uh, please uh, call this function and the function gets the scraped item and I'm appending the scraped item to my list and then I can return the list and do whatever I want with it okay so a few imports again just to get this right I'm well I could try one thing yeah some uh, sometimes I can use IntelliSense in ID but uh, I haven't got my Python set up quite right yet uh, once i manage to do that i'll make awesome video on that but right now my python intelligence and refactoring is not working 100 percent like i would like it to do otherwise i would use it all the time so that's why i have some notes so i, I added a few imports here or these are all scrappy imports so you can eventually figure them out anyway but now i should be able to actually get the results and i did so here is a huge list of things containing the titles and if you modify the bot uh, a little bit uh, then you are able to sorry modify the spider a little bit then you are able to get more than titles you could get uh, author names any images uh, or image links and and urls and uh, dates i i have already done that so it's just an expansion to the code but i have final uh final thing i'm not happy with and that's the logging so when i was uh, trying to get the logging to be a bit less verbose now that i have a working solution the problem is that it's not that easy at least it i didn't find a very fast way to do it all at once uh, you can obviously find the loggers and just tune them one by one but i wanted to just disable everything so here is a trick on how to do that. Uh, obviously, you import logging, like so. Uh, but then if you disable... <laughs> Alexa is being happy. If you disable uh, the propagation of the logger, that seems to do the trick. Alexa, stop. 
<laughs> Alexa started explaining to me how bots work. That's awesome because I use bots all the time. Okay, so uh, I think that covers it. Uh, the code is all here, all in one Python file. As, as I said, 50% is just copy paste, but there is a little bit more that I needed to do to make it work for my purposes. So I hope this was interesting for you, entertaining, uh, educational. Uh, if it moved anything in you, please let it show. Click that uh, like button so YouTube algorithm will like my video and show it to more than five people. So thanks for joining me. If there is any questions, any comments on this video, if you found it useful, please leave some feedback below the video also. And if you have some wishes for the upcoming content, let me know, because I will be happy to do it if it suits uh, what, what kind of my interest areas as well. But for now, thanks for watching and see you later. Bye bye.